Okay, we are going to walk through the privacy settings on Facebook today. So here you can see I'm logged in to Facebook. Next, what you wanna do is go into the upper right-hand corner of your Facebook page and click on your profile picture right up there and then scroll down to settings and privacy, okay? Here, you wanna click settings and privacy. Next, you wanna click privacy center, okay? It has that little lock right there, so click privacy center. It's the third one down. This is going to take you to the Meta Privacy Center. Then you want to go click four down onto settings and then Facebook settings. This is going to bring you to the page which is going to prompt you with all of these questions, okay? And here is where you can edit your privacy settings. So we're just gonna walk through these together so that you can just get a feel for them. And remember, Facebook has been around since 2007. So some of these questions are legacy questions and not all of these questions apply to everybody, but for legal purposes, they put them in there. Um, but this is how you can access them. So who can see your future posts? So that's just if you're putting any posts on Facebook, who can see that? Now I have it set to friends. You can edit this by clicking edit right there. Then you can click this little drop down because I have it set to friends and you could see it could be public, anyone on or off Facebook, friends. This is if you want to leave someone out or just me. So I have it set to friends and then you can just close that. This is next we have an activity section, review all your posts and things that you're tagged in. So this would be mean like if someone did a post and mentioned your name and tagged you or just identified in you you in that would you like to see that next we have limit the audience for post you shared with friends of friends or public okay that's just would you want everyone to see post or just um friends of friends that you know and then we have who can see people pages and lists that you follow so that's what you're interested in. And again, to edit any of these questions, um, you can just click edit to the right of it and that will apply. Next, we have how people can find and contact you. Now this is really important because a lot of people do use Facebook to keep in touch and find their family and friends, people they graduated with, um, the people in your networking group. So if this is locked down, then that you is something you need to be aware of that they might not be able to reach out to you. So friend requests um, are friends of friends. That's what I have mine set to. Who can see your friends list? That's everyone that you're connected with. Um, and then who can look up uh, using an email address? We also have a phone number if you would want people to look up you up that way. And then this is probably the most important question. Um, on Facebook for privacy, it's do you want search engines outside of Facebook to link to your profile? So what does that mean? That means if someone were to go to Google and they Google your name, do you want one of the options to come up as your profile on Facebook? Okay, I have this set to no. Um, I always train it. I always change this within like trainings. I just did the class on this too. Um, but that's totally up to you. So just think of if just think uh, for this question, would you want someone, if they were to Google your name, to find your Facebook profile page? Most, I would say the majority of students do want that because then people can find them. But for some reason, it's personal preference. You can always edit that and change that to no. And then next in the privacy questions for our settings here in Facebook, we have how you can get message requests. And this is for um, message requests, chats and messages are the same thing. Um, and then they also uh, go on to Instagram as well. Because remember, Facebook owns Instagram. So you can connect your accounts on both of them. So this is how you access your Facebook settings and then how you adjust them um, 
easily. And these are always being updated. So, you know, about once a year, I'll come back to the privacy settings, but make sure you take your time, walk through this and um, have the settings set uh, to your comfort level. All right. Hope this was video was helpful for you guys. And thank you so much. If you have any questions, please uh, check us out at socialclubsimple.com. Also, you can sign up for our free monthly technology tip where we send you one technology tip a month. Um, and it's a lot of fun. It's a great, great way to invest in your lifelong learning. So thank you guys. Bye.